nice spring salmon, king salmon. Oh, and I'll show you how to pin bone. We have these nice Japanese tweezers. Gosh, these are the best tweezers I've ever found to pin bone. They're amazing. You just kind of grab the pin bone and pluck them out one by one. If you're really skilled, you might be able to do two or three at the same time. Good. Uh, now, sometimes there's little bones down here, but it's hard to feel them. There, there's one. It's good to have a little bucket. I wasn't planning on pin boning, but if you have a little bucket full of water that you can dip this in to clean it off quickly, it's a little bit better. I don't especially like to waste water. Those ones are a little tougher to grab, so I use the water for that part. And you can actually just feel the bones. Feel them kind of very faintly popping out of the meat. Yeah, I've tried at least three or four different types of tweezers, and these are by far the best. I used to hate pin boning for that reason, because it was so difficult, but these do all the work for you. They're incredibly easy. Highly recommended. Japanese steel. We sell them, by the way. And I think I got them all. So that's how you do it.